Okay, so I got some concrete made. And I was just looking at uh, the next level. I think we're going to go ahead with this one so we get the, the biofuel. So we'll go ahead and start that up. Now, I don't know what I have because power was out for a little bit. Uh, oh, we have enough wire. I don't think we have enough plates. And oh, we might actually. Let's go ahead and finish that up. We'll get this next one up and done because if I make biofuel, it's going to save me a lot of trips making the. Getting into here because it's uh, supposed to be a more efficient fuel. Okay, and 500 wire. Go ahead and launch that. So now, biofuel. Biofuel uses biomass. Interesting. Let's actually try this stuff. Oh, right, I can make the space elevator now. Alright, let's make a whole bunch of biofuel and see what this stuff is like. We're actually going to put this over the new generators. I think that's going to be the best thing we can do. Uh, let's see if we can get this button smoking hot again. Oh, there we go. It's glowing. Is it going to make it? Is it going to make it? Hold up. Hold on. Hang in there. Hang in there. From what I've heard, you actually have to rebuild the hub. I'm not 100% sure what happens. But there is that. So, yeah, let's see what we can get here. Yeah, that's enough for now. We can make a chainsaw and cut down trees now so we can get more biomass that way. Oh, ma'am. What are you doing, ma'am? Nothing. Uh, yeah, analyzing flower bells. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. So let's have a quick, quick look at that. No, we can't. Anyways, let's go get some power up and running here because I need to make some power poles. And so this one is going to go... Where did I put the first one? Did I put the first one? I don't think I did. Because it was out of concrete, that's why. Okay, we'll put one there. And we'll stick another one here. And then, yeah, we'll connect you to that, you to that, that to that, that to that. Yeah, no, oh, not going to work. Wind power only. Okay, like so, and down to here. Okay, we're just about ready to set up the network. Uh, that one I'll leave there for now. So next, next we take everything out, and I should have inventory space for everything. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and dump a hundred fuel into each one of these, just because. I'll split that stock to roughly a hundred. Okay. No. Well, I should turn that off because I'm powering those machines and they're not doing anything right now. Yeah. Actually, what I should do is actually move these containers. Because these containers are actually go down here somewhere. I have no idea where. Hmm. Let's try down here. Because this is where the end of everything's coming out. We've got the reinforced plates coming out here, so let's go and organization, lookout tower. Yeah, yeah. The only thing the lookout tower is for is to actually see where you're gonna build next. That's really all it's about. It's not like you're worried about personal safety or anything. Come on, you stupid mouse. Mouse wheel so touchy. This is like one spot. It keeps double backing on me. Okay. 
Let's actually bring this out a little bit more in case we need to add on to it. Okay, there's that. Let's uh, try to get these somewhat in line. I want to leave space from, between them just because. Okay, there's another one. Uh, now, how many are we going to need? I'm going to need one for plates, rods, screws. Uh, what else was there? Wire, cable, uh, reinforced plates. That's three. Get yeah, another one. Come on. And anywhere here. Uh, yes, down the road once I start actually getting some proper limestone coming through. Speaking of which, I did actually drop uh, a portable miner down to get some some of that limestone going for now. Uh, I don't know how much we need to actually build the foundation, so what do we got? Uh, five, so plates, rods, screws, wire, cables. Hmm, you know what? Let's do it this way. Just because. Actually, let's do it the other way. So they're facing the right way. And right click, then actually work. Okay, come on. Okay, there we go. There we go, there we go, there we go, and there we go. All right, I'm loving it. All right, now for conveyors. So this one, we're gonna I'll stick you right there, just because. Actually, would that have been smart? No, 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 no. Let's put this one over. There, got to go into the tree just because we can. Okay, so now you are going to be plates. So you're going to have to go there. And uh, come on. No, I do not want that there. No, that's not what I wanted. Why did you not work? Because I need more plates. Of course, I need more plates. So let me get more plates and I'll be right back. Well, I got more plates, but that wasn't actually my problem. I didn't need, to, didn't need them anyways. Uh, what it was, was I was actually encroaching on this one here. So will go here and we're gonna bring it to there. Now it goes. So that's plates. We're gonna put rods on top. Come on, come on, okay, there we go. And this one is gonna go to about here. Actually, let's put a post here first. No, let's not do that. Let's do like that. I'll bring it up one. I'll connect the conveyor to there, to there, and there, over to there. Okay, so that is rods. Is that rods? No, that's screws, I think. Hang on. Yes, that's that is screws. This is supposed to be rods here. Hmm. So now what do I do? This is where a jetpack comes in handy because you actually fly up and have a look at everything. So yeah, rods going in. Yeah, that's that screws because that size plates. At least I think it is. Hang on, let me figure out what I got going on here. I'm already lost. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're actually gonna move this one out of the way, and that one, and this stuff too. While we're at it. Give me a break. It's my first day. Okay. Anyway, uh, what I was going to do is I was gonna bring this conveyor out to here. Let's get this in the line here. Uh, really doesn't want to cooperate here. So let's go with the conveyor, conveyor pull instead. That way I can get a little more lined up. And then we'll connect from there. 
No. I thought I put the damn thing down. Oh my god, my fingers are all over the place again. Okay. Do that and that. There we go. That worked. And then up to there. And then this was gonna be this is gonna be rods, so that one's gonna gotta go not to there. So we're gonna do another pole here. Up like so. Go over to here. You just gotta stop spinning around so fast. There to there. Okay, now now we get into uh, the copper line. So that's creating wire. And what I've been doing to sort of get myself a little less confused is I've been setting the machines so I actually know what I've got going through here. So yeah, okay, so that's going to be wire. So then we're going to get that constructor, which is here. If I hit the right button. Ha ha ha. Right. Oh, interesting. I don't know, don't know what the to-do list is. I'm guessing that's something that you just... Uh, that is taken care of in the hub, so you can just do like an AFK session until the thing blows up on you. That sort of deal. Now let's see how close I can get without obstructing that conveyor. That close. All right. Now for more conveyors. And this one is going to go like so, and like so. Now we get another one, another pole here. And yes, I know there are going to be ladders down the road that I can use. Uh, conveyor ladders. A lot of bounces, but it's still sturdy. Okay, you and up. Can't afford. Of course I can't afford. I'll be right back. Oh, what do you know? I actually had some plates made. Jeez, I wonder how that got happened. How that happened. Alright. What now? Oh, encroaching others clearance. Ah, <sighs> fine. Move it back then. Just because we have to. Not because we can, but we have to. Alright. Like there. And and then this is going to be... Oh, I still have that coming out too. Is that going to reach? No. Of course not. That will. And then there to there. And then we go up here. We get another pull out because we're going to need it. We know that. And there and up. And please tell me I have enough plates. Encroaching what? Oh. Mm, 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 this whole thing, huh? huh? I didn't actually click on it, but it still worked. That's that auto snap I'm talking about. Okay, so that is that. So now we got wires and cables. Uh, I feel like I'm missing something. Some screws, plates, rods, those, wires, cables. I think that's everything. Which means... Yes. It's time to go live. Alright. Uh, hmm. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take that off for now. Because I don't want... I'm actually going to get the fuel in those things. So now I can just connect and have it all go live at once. Okay, you have your hundred. Uh, give you your hundred. And since you're not actually using anything, you shouldn't be consuming the fuel. Even though it's an animation, I'm just gonna go with that. I will definitely have to farm some more of this stuff pretty soon here. But well, that's what I do off camera.
you know, talking while I'm trying to figure out what I'm supposed to be doing. That's what I do on camera. Anyway, uh, so is that it? I think so. All we gotta do now is hook up the miners. Which means all this comes out. Okay, you come out. You come out. Now I, I'm hoping I'm getting all these plates out of it. Okay, and the constructor comes apart. You can always repurpose that, use it for something else. And these smelters come out. Oh, oh it's preemptive on the smelter on that one. All right. Now for conveyors. Hooray! The fun part. All right. Let's do. I know I can clip to the ground. I'm gonna try not to do that. And smelter one is fed. And we go here. I need more concrete. Of course I do. Always need concrete. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think I have any limestone on me. No, I don't. So I'll be right back. <laughs> I never even noticed this was here. Uh, I know it's not going to be around, but I'm putting storage right here, and I didn't even see the the poison cloud here. Or over there. I have no idea what it is, but... Yeah, I came over to find that miner I had. Which I think is right around the corner. There it is. Anyway, I will be right back. Okay, I got some concrete made. Go ahead and make some poles here. Or, well, we can make some bears, but we need to need it for the poles. Now, it'd be nice if they actually snapped side by side so you could have them running parallel with each other. But that's fine. That is fine. We'll just go ahead and do that. And smelter too. I need to go around the pole. I'm gonna fi fix that. It was not supposed to be that short. Okay, I didn't think it was actually gonna let me grab it. All right, and there. Now for the copper, the copper line, which means we have to take all this out because that's gonna run all the way. I like how there's actually a delay before you take it out. You actually have to wait a second or two. And I also like how you dismantle stuff from far, far away. Oh, goody, I gotta get my constructor back. Take all this stuff out. And all this stuff, and I don't know if I have the inventory space for it. I do. Oh, well, at least I do get the wire for that. So that's good. Okay, yeah, and we get rid of that, we get rid of that. And now for it's a very, a very, a very long conveyor line. And believe me, I'm not complaining. Okay, so we'll go there and let's see here. Go there. Nope. Oh, put a pole over here. I'll put it. Right here, go up, grab a conveyor off to there, and to there, and I'm going to put another pole on the other side here, just to make sure it clears. Sure, that works. And there you are. Okay, we are just about done. Just about done, do that, and... Missing iron plates. Really? Alright, well, I think I actually do have ingots on me, so that should be a no problem. Yes, I do. This should be the last piece of the puzzle. I should be able to fire everything up right now. Well, not right right now, but... As soon as that. Cool.
coaching clearance again. Oh, come on, fine. Oh, come on. I'm starting to wonder now how many of my conveyors I've messed up and not actually gotten connected. Oh, man. I may have screwed some stuff up. Is there a way to switch it? Oh, there is actually a snap option. I may have to redo some of my conveyors. Yes. <laughs> Alright, let me fix this. Okay, everything seems so far so good. Uh, the best way to tell it is once we get set product on the line, we'll see if it's actually going anywhere. Well, these things are running. I have absolutely no idea what they're powering. But they haven't used anything, so that's fine. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, they haven't used anything because they're not consuming. This one was on standby. Alright, so now, let's do... That. Oh. Oh, I gotta connect it over to here, too. If I stop hitting the wrong, wrong buttons. So you guys should be... Should be good. Let's uh, check the power situation. Make sure this is all hunky do hunky dory. Consuming one mega no, megawatt. What is going on here? Did I forget to connect something somewhere? I must have tripped something. No. Okay. No power. You got no power. What's your problem? No power. We got power there, coming off of there. Coming off of there. Hmm. I shouldn't be overloaded. Generating more than enough. What did I do wrong? Yeah, I think that breaker is like global. See, they're on standby. Hmm, interesting. Let me investigate the situation. Okay, I figured it out. That wire is not going to the smelters, that's going to the other pole over there. So I do have some connections on here. Let's actually see what we have over here. Okay, so those three, and I got nothing on there. All right, so I need another, I need to put another pole down. And connect that to the smelters, and then connect that to the grid. And now we're using juice. And that's just what I was using right now because it still has to go through the, all the constructors. Constructors and eventually the assembler at the very end. And let's go check it out. Now let's have to let's see, climb up here if we can. Yes, I like how we can climb up on the machines. It gives me a bird's eye view to make sure I got the conveyors all going the right way. I thought they would have gone in the direction of the outputs. You know, a smart way of doing it. Here it comes. Got the wires. Those wires go into a container. Those wires go into there. Come out with cables. Got rods coming out. We got screws coming out. Screws going to storage. Screws going to the assembler. Same with the plates. Plates going to storage. Plates going to the assembler. I'm like a kid in a candy store. And then here. We should have these. That's how much it uses per minute. So screws are a little lacking at the moment. Does it actually say how many screws are...
grew, singular, wow. Okay, that's going to take a little bit of time. I think I have some on me. I can help it out a little bit. Just because. Let's see this animation. That is really cool. When I first saw the game, it's not what I was expecting. But I like it. The animations are going to kill this game for sure. And there is our first reinforced iron plate. That's definitely one hell of a plate, that's for sure. Alright, so what do we got? We got plates in there. We got screws up there. We got reinforced plates there. Rods there. Nothing in there yet because nothing's come through yet. Because it needs power. And then we got wire up there. That is fine, because... Presto, change oh, You got power now. And this is making... Oh, cables. Wait for it, wait for it. There we go. The cables. And I think with that, that might be a good place to call the episode. I finally got, like you know, basic automation going. I'm just saying that because, you know, it's just basic supplies. We haven't gotten to the point of, like, doing the modular frames and there's the reinforced modular frames and and all that stuff. Uh, what we'll do quickly before we call this, and it's going to suck having to have all my storage over there because that means I have to run all the way back over here for the hub upgrades. But we'll take a look anyways. I do have to get the concrete going because eventually maybe we'll just end up having conveyors moving everything into a big something and then just get everything smelted and processed and shipped out from there okay we don't care about those let's see what's on number two jump way jump pads walkways and we do have to do uh, do all this stuff to reach the next level or uh yeah, the next milestone. So I just need 100 plates. That's it. And then uh, we might as well do that. That'll get us our color coordination, which might things make things a little bit easier to understand around here. So we'll quickly do that, and we'll end the episode. Oh, okay. I was like, oh, what? You mean it's only green? It's only poisonous at night? No, we don't have the plates for it. But I got the ingots. I uh, got the ingots. God, we're going to have to get some speed upgrades pretty soon. And uh, let me just get these ready. And we are ready to go. So, yes, we were going to do... Yeah, we're going to do the color good, I think. Just because. Let's get it out of the way. 250 wire. We need 100 rods. And a hundred plates. It's an easy one. It'll probably be cheap too. Or not cheap, uh, quick. Two and a half minutes. But that don't matter because we'll end up doing that in the next episode. But let's go quick this, quickly check this out. Uh, color gun. Yeah, it's relatively cheap. It's a colorful color gun, that's for sure. And then we're going to make color cartridges. A uni color. Oh, wait, what? It actually said, what? <coughs> Sorry. Oh, I thought it said something about uh, nanite controlled color changing technology or something. But, anyways, that's going to be it for this episode. I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.